Yes. Well, welcome, uh, Karen. I am so looking forward uh, to speak to you again. It's, it's two years ago that I uh, spoke to you and um, so much happened in, in the two years. Uh, first of all, your book is, is, uh, is flying the world over, I guess. <laughs> your ebook, uh, Cro From Chronic Pleasure to... No, Chronic Pleasure is the title, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and I'm reading it, but I have to take time to read it to um, yeah to really let the words and the energy in. So when I started, I thought, oh, I will finish this uh, <laughs> very quickly, but it feels so much better to really live it. And that's why I, um, I love to speak to you because you 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 live it, and um, I'm so. Curious, how is it with you? And what does the book for you uh, uh, on this moment? And yeah. Ah, well, well, first, it just feels wonderful to see you. You look so pretty and beautiful. And, and I just feel so thankful to you. And I love our last conversation that we had two years ago. And it just feels fun to be here with you now. And so um, you were asking, what is it What is it like for my book? Or what? I wasn't sure. Yeah. The, 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 all the information now is the, the world uh, flowing into the world, your story, your energy, your your vision of life. So how are you in that? And um, yeah, did it change a lot, or was it also so stable? And is it just more stable? Or... Uh, okay, yeah. So I have been receiving from people for a long time all sorts of wonderful praise and appreciation and stuff because of my alignment. And then as I'm writing the, as I wrote the book, after I've written the book and now more people are having it, I'm getting so many um, texts and phone calls and messages and emails saying, oh my God, this book is changing my life. So that feels really, really, really rich and really beautiful. Mm. It feels like my whole heart is touched kind of all day long. And I was in this space when I wrote the book. I just felt like there was this download of information coming into me and this love that was flowing through me. And so as I was writing, I was feeling this love and it just feels like it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And you call the love, uh, the, the word love. And um, is it the love of life, life itself flowing through you? Uh, how, how do you, can you describe it? To me, it feels like the love of life, the love of the divine, the love of my spirit, the love of my inner being, the love of uh, maybe God, if you use that word. It feels like the love that is, um, you know, so pure and so rich and so unconditional and so uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow, I, I, I feel that so um, physically in your words, there's so much softness, yeah. so much softness. Yeah, and softness is such a key thing, actually. At least for me, I have found that so much of my, my clarity comes from softness, my strength comes from softness, my power comes from softness. It's really fascinating. My energy comes from softness. It's really fascinating. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I, yeah. It's it's it's, it's very uh, very clear for me now when you say it uh, this way. And and the heart. Uh, what what role has the heart uh, in your story and in your life? Oh, for me, the heart is my leader. I just have a a constant attention on my heart, and I feel my heart shining the the love I have out to everyone and just really um, I just feel my heart so full and I can feel if my heart if I have any kind of resistance I feel it in my heart first and then I can let it go so quickly because my heart is so accustomed to being full of love it's so accustomed to being radiating love out that if that light dims at all i i see it or feel it you know immediately wow yeah so the heart is my 
the heart is my guidance. It's my, it's my path. Mm. Oh, wow. Your path. Yeah. I, I sometimes I close my eyes, I just to feel your words even more uh, from the inside and, and, and really um, let it touch my, my brain, what, is, what, what I feel. And my heart also already knows what you're talking about. Do you, do you see that in others also, that, that you invite other hearts also to just yeah, shine, to be? Yeah, everywhere. The, the, when the mailman comes or when I'm at the grocery store, or even mm. driving my car, I get so many people rolling down their windows and we having a great connection in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like everywhere I go, people are noticing it. Some people notice it and can't say anything. They're not able to, they're not in that place where it's, it's their world to say anything, but they, I can see people notice it because people's eyes get more sparkly when we engage or when we have any kind of connection. There's everyone's eyes get more sparkly and they, they just get more color to their cheeks. And uh, they, and they do a lot of what you're doing, which I just find so beautiful of like that really taking something. Yeah. In. Yeah. You know, and that, I love that. I love, I love when I do that. I love when others do that. It just feels it feels so rapturous, you know, to really let things in. And I also feel in you such an um, available position for however someone feels or how, whatever they go through, whatever happens in their life, you're available, you are there, your love is there, your heart is there. And I guess that alone is just such... Um, such a, a transforming thing, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I, I mean, I used to try to control people or try to, um, you know, get something from people. And now, mm. uh, you know, I just, I just love people. I don't, I just let them be. And I always say, you know, I'm hooked up to source, so everybody else is off the hook. And that's something that I love to wow. teach because so many people are, are putting their happiness on someone else. Yes. When you do that, you can't stay happy and neither does the person you're putting your happiness on. So it really feels good to just be so hooked up, so steadily hooked up, so consistently hooked up that it doesn't matter what anybody is doing, what anybody is doing. I don't, I mean, what doesn't matter what the politicians are doing. It doesn't matter what, you know, the, people who are doing fracking are doing, I mean, in terms of how I feel, uh, my love just shines. And that's something that I really enjoy teaching others how to do because it gives you, it gives you unconditional power. It gives you unconditional freedom. Yes. Yes. The freedom in it. Yes. That's also what I feel. Yesterday I read in your book also with some practices and, and you, you studied it from, um, or you told it again and again, just do it for yourself, for the feeling uh, that you, you don't do it to change someone else. And I remember from um, a years ago that I also did practices, but uh, with that intention, just uh, to change someone else or to change the situation. But then all the power flows away and... Um, yeah, you're a little bit lost in, it, in that case. And in this, you feel so all the power comes back to you and to your being. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, when I used to try this in another way, I, I would do the same thing. I would try to change someone through my own inner work and then they wouldn't change and I would feel so frustrated. And then I gave up trying to make them change. And I just started doing the, the work and it, it was so magical how everyone just started shifting towards me. And um, yeah, so I just feel, I just feel blessed that I really get that, that I do, I only do things, um, you know, because they feel good. Yeah. And for you, for you and uh, for your energy. Yeah. They yeah. feel good for me. And so, um, so it's it's in that it's in that sweet. and how did this all change your life and and especially your uh, relationships with others around you i'm 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's night and day, the difference oh, yeah. in relationships. And so now every relationship I have is just full of appreciation and fun and love and uh, freedom. You know, everybody has freedom in my life. To, wow. be who they want to be, to do what they want to do, to feel what they want to feel. And so there's, there's this rich connection. And I have it, like I was saying, I have it even everywhere. And it was so interesting. I was just talking to somebody yesterday because I had an injury on my hand and I went to hand therapy last, um, in 2018. And 2017 and 2018. I don't even remember. Some sometime I went to hand therapy, and when I went in there, the hand therapist at first, you know, he he would make comments like, "I don't trust people who are too happy," you know, <laughs> and um, and I just handled it. I didn't I didn't defend myself. I didn't do anything. I just was so consistently in my joy that it got to the point that over the months that he was working on me, that that he ended up recommending me to a talk show, which I ended up doing. And then I became friends with the talk show host. And so that was really good. And then he, when I got out of hand therapy, he called me up and like gave me a 20 minute um, rant on, you know, you, you always came in, you were always full of love. You were always so happy. You made the room always so much more fun. Everyone got healthier when you were around all the people that worked there couldn't wait till you were coming in. I mean, it was like this, this, you know, he went on and on and on. You're a goddess, you're pure love. You know, he was just like, you know, now that we weren't working together, he was really one to make it clear what he felt. But, the, but it had been a gradual process because he had been so resistant to anybody that's this happy, you know? And so it, I just let him be free. I let him be who he mm. wanted to be. And he came around without me having to do anything. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that feels um, really good. So I just, I, yeah. And I, I, it's been interesting because I have so many clients that have issues with other, how other people perceive them. And there's so many fun things to do that can really switch it around so that you are allowing the magic of who you are to work for you and people transform in their response to you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it all begins with the, the, the starting point where you, where you begin for yourself in, in contact and relationships. And when that's um, yeah, something you don't like, of course, it will come back or uh, when it's unsafe or, or some kind of things. And um, what I feel in your words is you, you start uh, every, every day, I guess, and every time in, in such a love and such a steadiness in love and and everyone can feel that and yeah taste it and celebrate it yeah and they get to trust it that's what yeah. that's what feels really good is they like i'm so steady that even if i'm let's say i have something physically going on with my body like even when i injured my hand i had no i was still happy i was in the yeah. er because i had en ended up having to get lots of stitches and tendons sewed back together, but I didn't have any pain. I was totally happy. I was loving everybody in the ER and then met the doctors in ER and they said, oh, you need a specialist. And I was happy there. And then I went to the specialist and I was happy there. And, you know, like it did, I didn't have any dip, even though there was something going on that most people would get a dip about. And I'm just, I'm dipless. Wow. Yeah. That, that's the, the, the trust in that. Such a great yeah. word also, but, oh, yeah, so I'm people are trusting me, but I'm also trusting mm. what comes in a in a way that I've never. When when twenty years ago, I bought a rock that it's a really big heavy rock and it just says the word trust on it, and I carried it around with me like in my suitcase when I traveled. It's like fifteen twenty pounds. It's a heavy rock. <gasps> I really wanted to learn trust. It was wow. a big thing, and I didn't have any trust, you know, at that time. And so now I have this, this still have this huge rock and it's just funny because now I'm in such a state of, of total trust um, so that my, my vibration is really pretty unflappable. I mean, I might have a, a nanosecond here or there, but it's, it's so imperceptible mm. how, um, how steady I am. And that's what I just love sharing that, teaching that with, to my clients my clients, you know, they end up getting more and more stable and steady in their alignment. And, 
all sorts of other things start happening that are good. And yeah, it's so fun. Like, yeah. And, and, and uh, you say you, you work in with people. Do you still speak meditation, guided meditations for people? Yes, but I'm doing um, coaching and also deep inner release work as well. So I can okay. help people release uh, things that are unconscious at a deeper level or that are blocking them that, that they're not totally able to shift. So I can help with that. And then I also coach and then I create meditations as well so yeah wow oh such a such a gift that you do you do it in such a unique way so totally you mm. yeah yeah that does it does it feel so suited to me you know i have a background i studied psychobiology how the mind affects the body in college i and i studied epigenetics with dr bruce lipton and i studied mind body connection with so many different people, Deepak Chopra, Joe Dispenza. Oh, yeah. So I've just had so much. And then I was friends with Deepak and have been for like 28 years and I've been meditating. And then I was an actress. So I've just had all this life experience that kind of coalesces into uh, really helping me understand just how much power we have. Well, and yeah. how much And how much our bodies and our, our beings are willing to mold with us. Um, ways beyond even what they knew 10 years ago, like the science has picked up so much. And because I have this kind of nerdy aspect to myself, I love reading the science. And I just like, I'm just so thrilled with how much they're discovering about just how much power we have. And even the people who are discovering it don't know it yet. But when you combine the spirituality that I have, along with so many of the experiences I had with acting, like through acting, I had so many experiences of my body shifting according to the character I was playing, mm. you know, so I really, I really have such respect for how attuned our bodies are to us and to how much power we have when we learn how to tap into the magic of really giving our bodies exactly what they need. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Karen, I'm um, uh, curious that the first practice in the book uh, with the calming down in, in, in the heart and the brain is a practice that comes uh, back again and again to, to start with. Uh, would you uh, like to do a short uh, cup of that uh, now? To get uh, it? Yeah, I could do that, sure. Or something in that way. I just love that the, the softness in that and the opening and the connection between uh, the brain and the heart. So I thought maybe we can. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll, I'll go. I'll do that right now. Yeah. So, um, so just so you understand the, the heart, according to the science I've read, and maybe something has been updated since I've learned this, but the heart has more nerves going from the heart to the brain than the other direction. And um, they've done studies where they've shown that the heart can see things, hear things, know things before the brain knows about it. So the heart is causing a response and then you, you see the thing or you hear the thing or whatever. So the heart has some intuitive understanding. Um, and I believe that when your heart is wide open, you're, you have a, a rich connection with your source. So, um, so the way I teach it is that you, you practice breathing softness into your heart. Mm -hmm. But as you keep practicing breathing this softness in, your heart starts to relax. And as your heart relaxes, it starts to open. And as your heart opens, and I'm going faster than I would normally go if I was taking someone through this, but, but the, um, as the heart opens, you may be able to perceive the presence of your infinite, eternal, loving spirit or life force or um, inner being, whatever you want to call it, or God or Allah or Buddha. And that energy is always in your heart. It's always in every particle of your body, but it's easier to feel it when your heart is wide open 
So as you imagine breathing this softness into your heart and feeling it relaxing and opening, you might imagine this spirit uh, there with you, uh, giving your heart everything it needs. And then as your heart is receiving that, your brain is receiving that recognition that it too is filled with your spirit and it is getting everything it needs. So when your heart and your brain start to kind of become in coherence, this peacefulness and tranquility can start to come upon you. And then your brain um, communicates with your body. And so it's this, this practice of keeping the heart open and soft, feeling the presence of that energy and then allowing it to go up to the brain and down to the body in a way that just really um, feels amazing. So, um, I mean, you can read about it in more detail in the book or um, I might have some other places where you can access it in more, in more um, detail. But it is kind of a it's kind of a longer process. Of mm, yeah, but but already now with the opening and your voice, of course, with it, it I can feel the the, the softness, the opening in 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 the heart. What oh, there's such a, there's such a relief, such a mm. Mm. yes, yeah. It's it's um it's great because I used to take a lot of time to do that practice. Now that is instant for me i just feel that connection so that the more you do that practice the better and easier it gets yes you love repetition in that uh, i heard before or not what do you mean repetition repetition to repeat it again and again to, to just oh yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah make it really own yeah mm -hmm. yeah i mean anything you want to have you got to repeat it to have it yeah. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it's fun. And we talked about your book. Where can people um, see your book? Or, or, or um... Well, it's on Amazon. Okay. Um, right now it's in Kindle form on Amazon. But, I mean, I, this just feels so fun. If the people who are watching this want to send me an email, and I'll give you my email address, but put chronic pleasure. So chronic pleasure. Put that in the subject line. And then, um, you know, send me an email saying, you know, I would like your book. My email is my first name, Karen, K-A-R-E-N. My last name, Lori, L-O-R-R-E, at me, M-E, dot com. So just send me an email to Karen Lori at me, dot com. Put chronic pleasure in the subject line, and I will send you a digital copy of the book for free. Oh, wow. Yes, I, I have that one. And what I said, I, I read um, little pieces to feel it again and again and to, to, um, yeah, to embrace it, to, to live it. To, yeah, it's, uh, it's really powerful. It's really powerful. Mm, thank you. Yes. And Karen, I, it's just a thought uh, through my head. Do you have dreams for yourself? Yeah. What do you mean? Do I have dreams for myself? Yeah, that's just a thought. From you have, uh, in, in my eyes, you have an, 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 a great life, and now your book is all over the world, and 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 um, so many people you can help with uh, your unique uh, tone of voice. And um, I, I just guess, the, do you have? And what are your dreams? Oh, do you want to share one with us? I don't want to share my dreams because I, I've had to dream beyond what most people could even mm. imagine. And because I keep receiving what I want, that is so great already. So my dreams, I just don't, I don't feel comfortable to share them right now, but they're happening. And they just yeah. Happen. Yeah. But in the words you just said, it, 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 that's dreamed, I guess, for a lot of people also. But um, uh, such uh, uh, also again, such a power in that. Um, yeah, and, and you have to search for new dreams. You know what I mean. I have to like 
okay, I've accomplished this, I've accomplished this, I've accomplished this. Now what's another thing that, I, I, that I'm really feeling excited about that I want to go toward? And I keep finding, you know, I keep finding new, new dreams, but they're things that I can't even, I don't feel comfortable articulating them to other people yet because no. they're, so, um, they're so high flying and they're so unusual. Um, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, they're specific to me. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, it's just uh, yeah, ins inspiring how you, yeah, how you live and how you think and how um, uh, you are uh, true to yourself. That's maybe what I feel. Really true to yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's something that I really feel totally authentic. That's why I could come with my hair all wet, you know. <laughs> um, but I feel totally, totally. Um, totally authentic with who I am and I don't I don't ever try to please anyone or I don't and I don't feel any obligation and I don't feel any um you know I don't do anything out of obligation I don't do anything out of rote I'm just really present and I am totally authentic and I'm paying attention wow that's what that's what I teach so that people, yeah. people have freedom because so many people do things out of obligation. So many people do things out of, out of, um, you know, feeling that they must do something or they have to do something. But when you are able to really clear that and get into the freedom of doing things in a totally free way, it just, it opens up so much energy and it's been so much fun. Like even things, so I live in Los Angeles and I've been really good at flowing through the streets of Los Angeles, but now it's getting even better. So I had a moment where the street was a little, a little slower than I wanted. So I just started to do my, my magic on how I like to drive. And it was within 10 seconds, everything opened up and I made it home faster than I would have made it home. <laughs> even if there hadn't been that little bit. Um, and it was just, it's just so fun. Things are happening so fast. Um, yeah, I really like it. So that felt really instant. That felt like an instant, instant shift. Um, yeah. And such a oneness with life. Yeah, that's exactly right. I do. I feel oneness with everybody and everything. I just feel completely merged with, um, with the whole universe. I feel so, uh, merged and blended and, and like my, my, personality my personality is here but i'm not i'm not living from it mm. i'm living from that aspect of me that is beyond thought mm. it feels so wide And it feels like such an open field, a space. Exactly. Well, it's really, uh, mm. and it is always here. It, it's. <sighs> wow. Mm, Taya, you're so beautiful. It feels so beautiful just to watch you, you know, take it in and to see you kind of become even more radiant and softer even. And yeah, it just feels beautiful. I'm, I just feel so impressed by you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. And, and, and thank you that you... Um, that you live your life in this unique and powerful way and that you share it with the world. Mm. Yes. Mm. Oh, Karen, I, my head can think of some questions now, but I just feel the, 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 the open field and the silent in that. And the, yeah, that I want to thank you for being you and having this talk and, and 
sharing it. Mm. Mm, yeah, that feels wonderful. Thank you so much. I feel so appreciative of you and I just feel so much love for you and it feels wonderful to connect. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Connection is, is, is really uh, such a thing where, I, oh, my heart so... Oh, and it's so... I can feel, I can touch it. I can... Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes. I will feel it uh, more and more also after our uh, conversations, Karen. And, and, but for now, again, I will thank you for your time and your, your story. And, and I will share also your email address uh, uh, in it, or in the text uh, with the, the video. So other people also can, can, can read and taste your book and your words. Mm, that feels perfect. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. <laughs> I give you a great hug. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll uh, talk again. Uh, yeah, we'll see. And, and uh, I'm so curious what life uh, will bring us. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you, Tia. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>